As a child, Jung Shanja loved treasure hunts. After arriving in the UK two years ago, the art student from Shenzhen in China took up mudlarking, scouring the exposed banks of the River Thames. You could find the Asian artifact from the people who live in the past. It's a magical connection. Also, as an artist, I think the mudlarking findings could be some very interesting materials for your research and the creation. Amid clay pipes and glass bottles, it was a handful of pottery shards that caught his eye. So the first time I find these kind of fragments, I think they are maybe uh, from China or the other Asian countries. But after I did the research, I find it's actually not. It's produced in England. We don't have this kind of thing in China. The distinctive tableware I found is known as Blue Willow. Its pattern was inspired by the fascination for Chinese ceramics, originally introduced through the tea trade. British manufacturers in the 18th century copied and adapted the delicate designs. Zhang tracked down the exact pattern of his fragments in a flea market and has now created an art project exploring how the designs came to permeate British and Western societies. I think the blue willow for me is like a specific item and it let me know more about how these two countries, UK and China, how they communicate and influence by each other in the past. His work shows how ingrained the design is in Western popular culture. From movies to children's novels and cartoons. And Jung plans to continue his work. As the Thames tide ebbs and flows, he will be roaming the riverbank in the search of more secrets from the past. Tom Trebell, CGTN, London.